Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of the Clientastic Adventures. My name is Avi and today we're going to do a very quick review on a movie that involves the friendly neighborhood... Spider Pig, Spider Pig, does whatever a spider pig does. By the way, it's, it's not this guy, it's not this guy. Definitely not this guy. I give up. I just give up. So, thanks to my parents being here for the 4th of July weekend, me and the wife were able to catch a late night uh, show for Spider-Man Far From Home. And in my opinion, it was the perfect movie to transition from phase one to phase two for Marvel. Uh, especially how Endgame uh, ended uh, this was perfect. Uh, I went in expecting a really uh, teen superhero movie, kind of like how Homecoming was, but it had its moments of uh, comedic relief, uh, the regular struggles that a normal teen would go through, uh, plus his uh, superhero responsibilities. Uh, that struggle was really perfectly shown in this movie, but also the struggles that Peter Parker went through, uh, the losses that he suffered, uh, the turmoil that uh, Endgame had on him, uh, losing Tony Stark as a mentor, as an idol, as a father figure, to also losing Iron Man. Everywhere I go, I see his face. I just really miss him. Yeah, I miss him too. I don't think Tony would have done what he did if he didn't know that you were going to be here after he was gone. And not to give away many spoilers, but there were two scenes that really got my attention and really got me hooked onto the movie. One was involving the first encounter of Mysterio and Spider-Man. Uh, there was this scene where Mysterio showed off his powers and you're going to see how he messes with Spider-Man's uh, head. And I think that shows uh, Mysterio's uh, darkness in this movie. And uh, the second scene was something that occurred uh, late in the movie, right before uh, the climax where uh, Peter Parker uh, was building a suit and uh, Happy was there with him. It, it showed how Happy is most probably going to be the next father figure, so to speak. Uh, and it, it makes sense because Happy was... Uh, Tony's best friend he's been with Tony the longest in this Marvel uh, history so it it makes perfect sense for Happy to fill the void in Peter's life that that Tony's uh, death has created all in all I thought the movie was really good personally I'm still dealing with uh, how Endgame ended and and everything that has happened so this movie was an easy transition where it paid the perfect homage to the characters, to the storyline in Endgame. It wasn't a movie that completely ignored what happened in Endgame. It embraced it, but also gave Peter Parker and Spider-Man uh, the exposure that he needed, the storyline that he needed. So I think Marvel, like always, has done a fantastic job in, in starting a new phase. So thank you guys uh, for taking your time and watching this video, this quick review on Spider-Man Far From Home. Again, really great movie, highly recommended. Uh, go watch it in the theaters, you're gonna have a blast. Um, sorry for not putting out any videos, it was the 4th of July weekend, my parents were here. Uh, just trying to spend time with them, uh, but we do have some ideas for videos moving forward. Uh, I'm gonna try and put them out real soon. But thank you for your support and see you guys soon. Take care.